Cool practical. Acid alkali titration. Determining the exact volume of an acid needed to neutralize a given volume of alkali. We will start by filling a burette with two molar hydrochloric acid. For safety, you need to wear glasses, you might choose to wear gloves, and you need to use a funnel to fill the burette. Run some liquid through the burette to get rid of any air that may be below the tap. You should now note the level of liquid on the burette scale. It does not need to start at zero, though this might be slightly more convenient. Discard the runoff acid. Now we need to prepare a precise amount of the alkali that we're going to test. Uh, we're going to use a pipette to pick up 25 centimetres cubed of the alkali using a pipette filler. Ideally, the pipette should be rinsed through with the alkali solution. The 25 centimetres cubed is added to the conical flask that will be used for the mixing. Methyl orange indicator is being used in this case, though phenyl thaline could be used as well. Swirl the conical flask to mix in the indicator. Now we add hydrochloric acid until we get a colour change. Just as an aside, you can tell that the person doing the titration is a chemist by the way he grips the tap. Older burettes had ground glass taps and they had a habit of falling out. So you control the tap from the wrong side, if you like, in order to stop the tap from falling out. And with modern burettes, it means you're less likely to break off the end of the glass. If you're adding the acid slowly, it seems to take a very long time, but it needs to be done slowly and carefully. The colour changes become more frequent and obvious as you get closer and closer to the end point. At the end point, one single drop can cause a complete colour change. The expected colour change from orange to red is becoming increasingly obvious and it takes more shaking to get it back to orange again. Eventually one drop changes the colour to red and that colour remains in the conical flask. Now you need to read from the scale of the burette just how much hydrochloric acid has been added. The appropriate calculations are carried out and shown within the topic revision video. And that's it. Thank you for watching.